Our next day was the last on the island, so we packed up our stuff and took the long tail ferry back to the main pier. We both felt like two nights wasn't really enough time, but we had a little while before our ferry picked us up, so I got the drone out to get a few more shots. The weather was way better for the return trip, so the ride was a lot more tranquil. It was a nice way to see the islands off as we headed into Phuket town. It was getting late by the time we got in, so we checked into our hotel and went to look for a place to eat. After a bit of a tuk-tuk drive and a tad wander, we found a cafe called Tonka. It was a top Kaurang hill and offered this great view of the west coast as the sun was setting. Lily was in her element as she struggled to put her phone down. But I can't really tease though since I always type my camera around with me everywhere. I got a few shots of the sun setting and then put the camera away to enjoy the views with Lily while we waited for dark. When we got to the cafe we were hugely surprised. It was really well hidden and fit into its surrounding environment beautifully. Its entrance walkway is this reasonable trek through some lovely path bushes that lead you to an edge over the hill. When you get there you can enjoy your dinner with a great view of the surrounding city. They even have a balcony for a stunning photo spot. It was an awesome way to end the day, 